This Laura is too real. Hello, my friends, and how are you doing? It's time to get late. Uh, I mean, time is getting late. So let's get started with this tutorial. I will show you how to use the Laura in Forge UI, but also in Conf UI. And if you're one of my Patreon supporters, you also get my workflow for free. Let's get started. So the LoRa I want to show you today is called Ultra Realistic LoRa Project. And the results you can get with that are pretty insane and look like actual photos. These are some of the best results I've seen so far. And they look often like analog photos that are hard to distinguish from the real thing. Really amazing results. Now, the cool thing is you can use this in Forge UI, but you can also use it in Conf UI where you might get better results. I will show you both ways in this video. So to get started, of course, you want to download that model into your models folder and in there into the LoRa folder. Then also on the page of the model, you want to scroll down a little bit in here. You got some advice for the settings, for example, what kind of sampler to use, what kind of guidance scale, how many steps and the strength of the LoRa that is suggested to you. Then, of course, inside of Forge UI, you want to set up everything in that way. So here we have our prompt. Here we have the text for our LoRa. You can also add the LoRa by going to the LoRa tab then looking for that LoRa and clicking on it. And this will automatically add it to your prompt. When that is done, of course, adjust the strength of the LoRa as suggested 0.87. Now down here in the generation settings, set up everything as suggested. DPM++ 2M with the beta scheduler. I have 40 steps here. I have my custom size. You can use any kind of size you want. And then the distilled CFG scale is 2.5 in that case. And this will give you nice images. I did some testing with the results you can get. And here you see the 40 step result, but you can get away with less steps. So here we have the 35 step result still looking pretty good. By the way, the holes in the shirt are from my prompt. So that is what we get. Here we have the 25 step result. We have here a bit of a problem with the clothing and also the face is getting less detailed. The whole picture is getting more pixelated. And then with 20 steps, you get a pretty strong pixelation. But it is important to notice that with this model, the images can get blurry and pixelated regardless. And it really is based on what the prompt is saying. So here I was asking for a fish eye and this kind of close up image and it did not do well with this kind of subject. Well, here we have the same prompt, but without a fish eye. In this case, we have also a woman and you can see we have a lot more detail to that. However, if you want to get even better results, it is very important that you upscale the image. So for that, you want to send that image over to image to image inside of Forge UI with, of course, the button down here. And then when you scroll down, you want to first of all, make sure that you have the sampling method and scheduler both correct. So DPM plus plus two M with the beta scheduler sampling steps set to 40. You can also try less steps if you want to and then resize by two or even 1.5. If you have a slower computer, don't forget about the distilled CFG scale. In this case, I have set it to 3.5. 2.5 is suggested, but both of them work actually because this is just upscaling. And for the denoise strength, I've seen that in their conf UI I workflow, they're using 0.4, which is a bit high, but it still works good and gives really nice results. For this, I'm using the ultimate upscaler. If you don't have that, you need to install that from the extensions tab. Then you can choose your upscaler of your choice. In this case, you can see that I set the tile width and height to my custom tile width and height. So I'm saving on the amounts of tiles that have to be rendered for that and then just let it render through that. And when we look at the results, you can see that we get a pretty similar result. However, if we zoom into the face, we can see that there is a lot more face detail here. So this really helps improve the quality of the image. The reason why you want to use this with Conf UI is because you can get a lot better quality out of that. Like you can see with the image I have created here, also very beautiful details overall in that image. And 
there is an official free workflow that you can download. It's a bit complex, but I also built my own one that is simpler than that. But first, let's look at where to get this free workflow. So when you go to the LoRa website in Civity AI, you click on one of the images. You can see that down here it says notes. You click on that and this will copy it. Go into ConfUI, clear the canvas, and then you simply paste it in there, Control V. And this is the workflow you get from that. It looks a little bit complex. Down here it says pull it, which is basically a face swapper. And there you can upload your image of your face or anybody's face and then just render that into the image here it loads the checkpoints you have the LoRa loader up here for the ultra realistic LoRa that I'm showing you this is the prompt here you have the sampler in which case it's using the custom sampler here with a lot of these adjustments around that for example here you have the scheduler and then down here you have the case sampler and uh, up here you have the steps again so it can be a little bit confusing but when you look through the notes actually pretty simple what to do here here and you don't even need to touch most of that it's running for you now again what we have down here is an upscaler you see here upscale one and you can activate that right click on that and then say set group nodes to always so this is activated and now it's running through the upscaler and after the upscaler this is then going up here into a face detailer again right click set group notes to always and then a hands detailer right click set group to notes to always and here they are missing the output so stretch that over and then say save image so that it saves the image in here and that is basically their workflow which has a lot of different functionalities in there but it can also be a little bit overwhelming this is my version that you get as a patreon supporter it is based on my super flux workflow and here i'm loading in this case a dual clip loader and the LoRa. of course we have here our model and of course the vae then we have the prompt over here and in this case i'm just using a simple advanced case sampler but i feel that the results are pretty good Good. I'm also using here a preview chooser so you can when you set here the empty latent have a batch size that is of course larger than one like two three four images however many you want to get you can see that in this case I'm using here 25 steps instead of the 40 and I feel like still I'm getting a pretty good quality out of that especially if we're going to upscale it later afterwards anyways when you have the image rendered over here this is pausing the workflow so for you so select the image you want to have click on that and then click here to progress so that is doing the rest of the steps which is going down here you can see also I'm using an ultimate upscale and you can choose any kind of model you want I'm using the 4x real web photo model you can use another model if you want to in this case I'm only using eight steps but make sure that you are setting the sampler to dpm plus plus 2m and the schedule to beta and still I feel like I'm getting a really good result out of that the reason why I'm only using eight steps here is because we are using a deep noise of 0.4 and basically you reduce the amount of steps by the amount of percentage you use in this case I'm just averaging it with eight steps but you can see it works pretty well I'm also using down here the phase detailer and of course also here dpm plus plus 2m with beta denoise 0.4 and then i setting this to 20 steps so we get a bit more quality for the face and when we look over here we are getting a super duper nice result and all of that because of the reduced amount of steps is actually also running pretty fast now let me know what you think in the comments i find it absolutely stunning leave a like if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you want to see more videos like that and thanks for watching bye